guys. I haven't done a video in a while and thought I'd uh, treat you to a new uh, frame I got here. Actually, it's not new. It's just a metalhead uh, FPV frame that I designed last few months. Uh, but this one's all carbon fiber and not cheap carbon fiber. This is high quality, high grade, gloss, double sided. Um, eighth inch 1.25 arms and center and uh, let's see. and uh, top and bottom is 16 063 um, just using uh, 3 16 round standoffs 440 screws all the way around and uh, lock nuts and uh, screws there so the weight of this frame is 133 grams. You're not going to get better than this. It's basically the metalhead frame that I've been making, except for aluminum. It's all carbon fiber. And you can see the quality, on, the quality of the carbon fiber is just phenomenal. Even the, uh, you know, the cuts. No fraying, it's just smooth. Um, but yeah, it uh, turned out great. I did a bunch of these for Dave, um, the Fokker. So uh, he may have some for sale. Um, but you can always buy the metal version from from either of the sites, um, quadcopter.us or Metalhead FPV. And, um, you know, they're still available. This is just kind of like a special run of a frame. Yeah. I mean, this frame is probably unbreakable. <laughs> I mean, these arms are really stiff. They're, they're way stiffer than the G10. Well, I wouldn't say way stiffer than the G10, but they're stiffer than the G10 and the aluminum. Um, the aluminum looks great, but the G10 looks great, too. And they're stronger. They don't bend, but they are stronger in, in, on impact. And the carbon fiber, just everything of both worlds, is lighter than the G10. And they're stronger and stiffer. So, um, you know, plus, it's got that great look. Um, and also, I got a 3D printer now. So, you see, I got a Rostock 3D printer. Prints, I don't know, 12 or 14 diameter by, like, 14 high. Um, so I'll be making some proprietary parts for some of my frames along with some uh, plastic cases and whatnot that'll be on my site so you guys can check that out. So this is the exact same specs as the metalhead frame. It's just done in carbon fiber. So 133 grams. You know, if you want one of these, you know, they're going to cost because the, the, the carbon fiber is expensive. But, you know, like 140, 150 bucks. You know, the, our, I'm not going to go on production run. It's going to be a, as, you know, per customer pre-order type deal. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make a bunch of these and sell. I'm not going to do it. Um, but I'm going to keep making the other frames. Um, it's my favorite design of all my frames right now. As far as a mini, I'm going to come out with a 380 or 400 size of this frame. It's going to be a little bit different, but it's going to have a gimbal in the front, gimbal uh, mounting on the front for a small brushless gimbal. Um, it'll it'll hold a, a GoPro natively or Mobius, but you can actually fit a GoPro on here. It fits right on the front. A couple of guys have uh, done some great videos with them. So there's no need for a dirty, clean um, setup on these frames, on these little frames. The guys that are doing that, they're just adding unnecessary weight because with Zeal taped or even some padded Velcro that I use, I'm not getting any vibration issues in the camera. So it's really unnecessary to add another plate or, you know, 20, 30 more grams in standoffs or however they weigh. So it's just not needed. So, but this is a special edition, 100%, I'd say 99% carbon fiber, not fiberglass in reinforced. This is pure carbon fiber and aluminum standoffs and screws. So thanks guys.